Welcome to the Experimental Homesteader podcast, your trusted source for all things gardening. I'm your host, Sherri Ann Richardson, and today it's just you and me as we embark on a delightful journey into the art of growing fall vegetables and nurturing winter flowering plants. I'm a passionate backyard vegetable grower and homesteader from the beautiful state of Indiana, And I'm excited to share invaluable insights and practical wisdom from my book, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Year-Round Gardening. With Indiana's unique climate as our backdrop, we'll explore the secrets to success in cultivating cool weather crops. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, this guide is tailored to help you make the most of your garden during the autumn and winter months. Together, we'll unlock the possibilities, bringing fresh, homegrown produce to your table throughout the fall and winter season. So let's dig in, quite literally, and embark on this wonderful journey of cultivating fall vegetables. As we embrace the arrival of October, there's something more to be excited about than just Halloween. It's the perfect time for growing fall vegetables right here in Indiana. Whether you're planting new crops or extending the growing season for those summer planted favorites like tomatoes, this season offers a treasure trove of possibilities. Fall and winter seasons are often easier for growing cool weather crops, and I've been doing this for quite a while, over 20 years in fact. Indiana's weather can be unpredictable, and fall gardening often throws us a few curveballs. To make sure your fall garden thrives, here are some tips that have saved my crops from unexpected chills. These methods, like using mulch, row covers, and even cold frames, ensure your fall bounty is protected from frost and temperature fluctuations. So the first tip is to use mulch to protect your plants. Tip number two, invest in row covers for frost protection. Tip number three, Consider cold frames for extended growing seasons, and these do not have to be anything fancy. You can literally make a cold frame out of some bales of straw and an old window, some tomato cages with six mil plastic thrown over the top and the bottom of the plastic held to the ground with brick or wood or whatever you have. Tip number four, maintain regular watering for resilient plants. Now, of course, as the weather cools, you don't need to water quite as much as you would during the hot summer months, but you do still need to keep the soil moist. The key to success in preserving your fall garden is using a combination of frost cover and six mil plastic. Crafting your own small hoop houses with metal or plastic conduit can do wonders. And plastic conduit is not expensive. It's a good way to get started doing this on a very tight budget. It doesn't take much to protect your plants from the chilling embrace of frost, as I've learned through years of experience. So tip number five is use frost cover and six mil plastic for frost protection. Make sure the plastic does not touch your plants. Tip six, craft your own small hoop houses for plant protection. Tip seven, Vent plastic to regulate temperatures. And this is necessary on those really warm and sunny days because it can get really hot inside of any kind of greenhouse, hoop house, or cold frame structure really, really fast. The smaller it is, the faster it's gonna get hot. Type to bait, timing matters. Avoid covering certain plants too early. Your Jerusalem artichokes, your kale, your Swiss chard, they all taste so much better after they've been nipped by a light frost. And did you know that some vegetables taste even better after being kissed by a few light frost? It's true. Like I said, plants such as Jerusalem artichokes, Brussels sprouts, and kale develop a sweeter, more complex flavor. Additionally, I want to share a few tips on growing tomatoes in cool conditions, the wonders of reddish, and how turnips and carrots become the dynamic duo of the fall garden. 
So tip number nine is to choose tomato varieties suited for cooler temperatures. I've had some really good luck with some Siberian tomatoes that I received. Um, tip 10, experiment with cold weather crops like radishes. Tip 11, let turnips and carrots thrive in the cool weather. You don't have to hurry up and get those out of the ground. And tip 12, protect ground to harvest carrots through the winter. And how you do that is by covering the area with some straw bales where your carrots are planted. Make sure that it's heavy enough that it keeps the ground below from freezing and you will be able to dig and harvest carrots all through the winter. Apart from tomatoes, I also harvested reddish, watermelon reddish, black Spanish reddish, and much more. Clear into December and January here. Lettuce, spinach, and radish are like old friends who never let you down, thriving in the crystal autumn air. Plus, I'll reveal the secret, keeping tomatoes alive undercover. The secret to that is to make sure that the cover over your tomatoes, the tunnel house or whatever you're using, does not touch the plant. Make sure that it is large enough that the plant can thrive, but small enough that it keeps the warmth inside around the plant. And I have literally harvested fresh tomatoes off the vine inside of my unheated tunnel house on January 1st here in my Indiana garden. There's actually a YouTube video showing it if you wanna go check that out. So, while the classics are fantastic, it's always exciting to add a dash of the exotic to your garden. I'll share some suggestions to spark your adventurous gardening spirit, including Chinese cabbage, kalarbi, Swiss chard, mizuna, and Jerusalem artichoke. Your fall garden can become a source of fresh, delightful produce, even through the colder months. So tip 16 is add exotic flair with Chinese cabbage and kalarbi. And there is both a white kalarbi and a purple kalarbi if you want to grow some vegetables with some different colorations. Um, tip 17, vibrant Swiss chard adds color to your garden. And you don't have to cover that up really early. Let that frost hit it. The light frost, cover it right before there's going to be a hard frost. Tip 18, experiment with Mizuna for a unique flavor. And tip 19, discover the versatility of Arti Jer Jerusalem artichokes. These are a great potato substitute for people who are diabetic. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the flavor of these and to learn how to cook them, however. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the art of cultivating fall vegetables and winter flowering plants. As the temperatures drop and winter approaches, remember that your garden can continue to produce fresh, delightful produce. We appreciate your support and invite you to subscribe, rate, and review us on your favorite podcast platform. Your feedback keeps us growing as, your, as lush as your winter garden. Until next time, happy gardening. And I did forget to mention a couple of the flowers that thrive in the winter. Hellebores and pansies are two absolute wonderful plants for the winter garden that are relatively easy to find and grow. So please do add those to your garden if you're looking to have some flowers through the snowfall of the winter. Have a great night. Thanks for listening.